In this video, you're going to learn what a fire alarm control panel is and how you can use one to keep your building safe. Hi, I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for all things related to security systems and solutions. Today, we're going to talk about fire alarm control panels, sometimes abbreviated FACP or FACU. A properly functioning fire alarm control panel is essential for the health of a fire alarm system as a whole. And of course, it keeps everyone inside your building safe. But how do you use one of these all controlling panels? And what's the difference between a normal alert, an alarm alert, and a trouble alert? If you're looking to learn exactly how to use a fire alarm control panel, you'll find the answers to those questions and more in this video. Keep watching. So what exactly does a fire alarm control panel do? In a nutshell, the fire alarm control panel is like the dashboard of your car. It's where you'll find alerts if anything is wrong, and it's where you go when you want to control the whole system. Your fire alarm control panel gives you information about every component of the system, from smoke and heat detectors to pull stations. If a fire is detected, the control panel will alert authorities and trigger sprinkler systems. It will also tell you if an alarm or detector isn't working correctly. One of the really cool things about control panels is that they can even recall elevators and shut down HVAC systems if they detect a fire in the building. That's what a fire alarm control panel does. Let's review the parts of a fire alarm control panel next. Of course, each panel will be slightly different, but in general, you'll find these components on your control panel. Cancel alert, system reset, sound alarms, silence alarms, enable, disable, test, and acknowledge. There will also be an area where you can see the status of each component in the system. This might be via a digital screen or labeled indicator lights. The way they are labeled will depend on what type of system you have, which we'll learn about next. You might have a conventional fire alarm control panel or an addressable fire alarm control panel. So let's talk about the difference. In a conventional system, the fire alarm control panel does not have a list of every single smoke detector and pull station. Instead, the panel displays zones or areas. These zones are often displayed on a key near the control panel. For example, the panel may show that there was a fire detected in zone B. After looking at the key, you'll see that zone B is on the third floor. So you won't see which exact detector detected the fire, but you can narrow it down to the zone area. In an addressable system, the fire alarm control panel will show exactly which detector or pull station detected the fire. Usually you'll see this via text on a screen. Now, it's not surprising that this can make responding to a fire much more efficient. If you're in a newer building, you probably have an addressable alarm control panel. Okay. So now that you understand a little bit more about what the unit looks like and what it does, you can start to understand how exactly to use the system. First, we'll go over the different types of alerts. A normal alert means the detector in question is working normally. You don't need to do anything. An alarm alert means the detector in question is actively alarming. Authorities have been called and you need to respond appropriately to the fire. When there's a true alarm, the fire trucks are on their way and you need to evacuate your building. A trouble alert means that something isn't working quite right. Maybe a battery died, a wire short circuited, or another problem occurred somewhere in the system. When there's trouble, you need to investigate and get to the root of it. Now, we'll talk about using the buttons on your system. To be quite frank, there isn't a whole lot you'll typically need to do with the control panel. 
and most of the buttons are pretty self-explanatory. For example, if you want to sound all alarms in the system, hit the sound alarms button. To silence alarms, hit the silence button. It is important to note the difference between the silence and acknowledge buttons. On most control panels, the silence button will turn off all alarms. For safety reasons, it's very important that you only hit this button if you are sure the building is safe and occupants can remain inside. The acknowledge button on the other hand tells the system that you are aware of the alarm, but it does not turn off the alarms throughout the building. So you should only use this button when you're not quite sure what the problem is yet. And you want people in the building to continue to evacuate. Now, of course, every system will be slightly different. So refer to your manual to make sure you know exactly how your model works. Now, the last thing we haven't yet covered is how to maintain your control panel. Maintenance is key to a properly working system. You'll need to inspect your control panel and overall system regularly, and the frequency can vary based on the laws and codes in your area. At a bare minimum, the whole system should be inspected annually. To inspect your fire alarm system, complete a visual check of the control panel. Make sure all indicator lights are working and make sure no trouble lights are illuminated. If your system uses wireless detectors, replace batteries regularly as well. You also need to complete tests of all signaling devices in the system and confirm they indicate appropriately on the control panel. Before conducting tests, contact any authorities that will be automatically alerted by your tests. You don't need the fire trucks rushing in for your annual test. Once you know the basics, running and maintaining your fire alarm control panel is pretty simple. If you liked this video and it helped you learn more about your fire alarm control panel, make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button below. Also, if you'd like to browse some of our written content or have a security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to getsafeandsound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about fire alarm control panels? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.